About a year ago, a lot of things changed. Some of you may remember switching to distance learning or online classes for school, or taking a break from daycare. We've had to wear masks and rethink how we work and learn and gather together so that everyone can stay as safe and as healthy as possible. Another thing that changed in the middle of all of this was that people started to put paper hearts in their windows. And they did this because, well, because there were people who still needed to go to work in person to keep everyone healthy, like doctors and nurses. And there were people who needed to keep grocery stores and other places open so that everyone could still get the things they needed, like food. And there were people who were just out walking by themselves because we also need exercise and fresh air. And so people started putting little paper hearts in their windows to say thank you to the people who still needed to go to work in person and to add a little encouragement and happiness to the day for whoever happened to pass by. People put hearts in windows just to cheer other people up, even if they didn't know them. We collected some paper hearts for this week from the congregation. You can see a few of them here and there's some more around church as well. And we did that to remind ourselves of this lesson. It's a lesson we learn in church and in Sunday school that God loves us and we are called to love and to care for each other. This year, we saw with the hearts one example of how there are always little things that we can do to make a positive difference in someone else's life. And that's a good lesson to remember. So let's say a prayer to ask God to help us do just that. Dear God, thank you for loving us and showing us how to love and care for each other. Help us remember that we can make a difference in the world. Inspire us to keep looking for ways to do that. In your name we pray. Amen.